Hey there, this is Gary with Audio Plugin Deals. We're checking out UJAM's Dandy. It's a virtual bassist. Dandy is broken into a couple of different sections. It is the player and the instrument. We'll cover both of those. We'll go through some presets and we'll look at what it's capable of doing in terms of tone and all the different kinds of sounds it can make. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified when the good deals show up. Let's check out some of the presets. We'll just listen to the bass and drums so you have a little bit of context. We are in the instrument mode. I'll show you some of the things it's capable of in the instrument mode. We have a pickup section, character section, amp, and drive. Amp is more like a amp modeling, at least from what I can hear. Let's start there. We'll listen to the tonal changes as we switch the amp. So we'll switch, switch back to Cream, and we'll listen to Boosting the Drive, which is a, a bit of saturation or distortion as well. And then we'll go through some of the character settings. We've got Brilliant, Natural, Round, and Warm. section that lets us go from the neck to the bridge and um, we can hear the tonal changes. We've also got uh, a drop D where I guess you can lower the, I think the E, the e string to D. I'm not sure. Experiment with that. And um, We've got an octaver, which adds uh, a lower resonant tone to the bass. We've got an EQ, where we can go between the deep and the brighter sections. And a compressor. Now there's a finisher, what they refer to as a finisher, which is in the center here. And I'll go through some of the presets that are set up here. I like that you can uh, boost or cut uh, the amount of what they call the finisher. So here's the list. We've got 808, old radio, hot bath. There's quite a few choices there. Uh, let's mess with the 808. That should add some body to the bass. Check out some others. Got old radio. A slam compressor. That's pretty nice. And um, 
let's check out the phaser. So you've got quite a few choices there with uh, being able to finish out the sound, EQ, compress, and add um, lower tones by increasing the octave or settings. There's also a key switch section here in the instrument mode. The key switch section is um, basically controlled by adding MIDI notes in the lower octaves and being able to create things like slides, dead notes, uh, a legato mode. There's also an on-off switch for key switching. So what I've done is already programmed in Logic a series of key switches so you can kind of see what this is capable of in the key switch section. All right, this is pretty exaggerated, but we'll check it out. And um, I'm sure you'll find a way to be able to use it in your music. So if you take a look at the key switch section here on the left, you can see when the key is, um, when the key switches are activated, you can see what's taking place. So take a look at those notes and you'll see the, them light up. So slides, dead notes, you'll see it light up. All right, like I said, it's pretty exaggerated, but I just wanted you to see what's possible. Now let's put it in context and uh, we'll go through some of the presets. So keep in mind, this is instrument mode. We'll take a look at player mode in just a second. a little more context to it. check out the player mode. All right, the player mode is set up um, quite a bit differently, actually. Um, what, is, what it consists of is being able to have Dandy play common phrases that a bass player would play. They're pre-programmed in inside the VST. You can activate them by having it listen to the chords that you play. So in this case, what I did was I came up with a chord progression. I'll let you hear a piece of that. So in Logic, it looked like that. So pretty simple. What I did, though, is I copied that chord progression, brought it up to Dandy. So those are the chords, and that's Dandy. So I didn't choose any notes off the chords. I actually just used the same notes that were in the chords. So here's why that's important. If Dandy can see the notes and understand the key of the song, in this case, it's G minor. It can actually play a common phrase based on what notes are being pushed to it. So if we play a, a note in dandy, we're actually hearing a phrase. So even though that's one MIDI note, we're hearing a phrase. Now, the other part that makes it even more player-like is these lower notes down here where it says C2, um, D2, 
these notes right here cause the common phrases to change. So take a look at this section up here and watch as the bass line plays. You'll see it changing the common phrases that are being called up based on MIDI notes. Now, take a listen to that in context with the chords. So it's pretty cool. The ability to, or the inability to play bass is not a problem with Dandy. You can actually have it play common phrases using MIDI notes, as long as those MIDI notes are called to, um, from the chord progression that's in your song. So you've got a lot of versatility there, and you can also use different sound presets. So let's take check that out. We'll go through some of the presets while it's actually playing the common phrases. And there's presets for the common phrases. So that coffee at noon is just one of the presets. So, even if you can't play bass, Dandy can do it for you. This is Gary from Audio Plugin Deals. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you get notified when the good deals show up. Thanks for joining me. You jam, Dandy, the virtual bassist. <laughs>